Hey friends, in today's video, I'm showing you one of my absolute favorite go-to protective styles, and that is two jumbo feed-in braids using pre-stretched braiding hair. Let's jump right into it. So this is what I'm starting with. This is my hair stretched with a blow dryer, but not on super high heat. So it's not as straight as it could be, but that is just fine for this style. All right, so the first thing I wanna do is always moisturize my hair. You guys have seen this product before, and that's the Camille Rose Honey Hydrate. I'm just gonna add that to my hair. Whenever you're doing a protective style, you definitely wanna make sure you have something to coat your hair and lock in that moisture. So the next thing I'm gonna do is begin to part my hair. As you can see, the comb that I'm using is a metal rat tail comb. What I love about it is it has that extra prong in the front to ensure as much straightness as possible, but I also use that metal tail as well just to clean up the section. And for my edge control today, I'm going to be using Hicks Edges, one of my absolute favorites. You've seen this on my channel a million times before. What I like to do is add the edge control to the part, which allows for me to get optimal precision. And that just helps to clean up anything that I may have missed. And for today's braiding hair, I'm going to be using Free Trust's Clean Therapy in the shade 1B. What I love about this hair is already pre-rinsed in apple cider vinegar to avoid any irritation or inflammation. And it has three of these bundles in each pack. I only use one pack. And this is my rack where I pre-section all of the hair to make my process even more seamless. So now we're prepped and ready to go. My very last step is adding the edge control all along the perimeter of the section just to ensure a nice smooth braid. We're still going to clean up a bit even after we braid and I'll show you that after we're finished. I'm just going to use a soft bristle brush because I don't want anything too hard to tug at my hair to smooth it down. So let's jump right into it. If you know how to corn roll then you off to a good start. So I'm starting with three pieces and I'm going to rotate those pieces back and forth. I have quite a few corn roll videos on my channel so if you need a little extra help start there and then come back here. So I am going to add my hair in Right where you see my pointer finger, it's gonna grab that hair to the middle. One piece is gonna to go to the middle. The other piece is gonna to go to the farthest side, and then we're gonna braid it right on in. The thing about feeding corn rolls is once you know where to add the hair, you know how to rock and roll. So again, that finger pops out. When we get back to that side, I'm gonna slide that hair in. One piece goes to the middle, one piece goes to the right, and I'm gonna braid it on down. We're gonna do that again and add that hair and braid it down. And as you're braiding, you just wanna pick up pieces on the side just to adhere and attach your braid to the scalp. And I'm gonna add in hair all the way down the braid, each section getting a little bit bigger so that I can have that consistency. I hate hungry looking corn rolls. That's like, why is it so thin, hon? But I also don't want my pieces to be too large because I don't want my braid to end up too wide in diameter. So as you can see, we're getting to the back. A key part of this also is as you're adding that hair and braiding down, make sure you're detangling the extensions as you go. So once you get to the end, you don't have like a knot of hair that you have to detangle because that just makes the whole process completely unbearable at that point. So I'm just going to keep adding. I'm going to keep adding. And as you can see, the sides aren't as slick as we want them to be, but I'm going to show you a fix for that soon as we're done. Once I get to this point where I can start to see where my ends meet the hair, I begin to add edge control as I'm going down for an easy blend. And then at this portion, we're pretty much kind of doing like a knotless braid. So you'll see me add that hair to the middle and then it goes to that left side, which is typically my right side. I'm going to braid it on down. And then I like to leave like an inch of hair to be dipped. So this is the part that I was talking about with the cleanup. I add a little bit more edge control to it once it's braided and I smooth it down with the teeth of my comb and I use the rat tail to tuck any flyaways into the braid so it's nice and seamless. So don't worry about it if it's not perfect and you got some gaps, you can always fix it. So now we're moving on to the other side. So just like before, we're going to add that edge control around the perimeter to get it as smooth as possible. Again, don't worry if you miss some spots because we can fix it in the clean up. So after I do that, I'm going to use my brush again just to smooth it down as best as possible to get it ready for the corn roll. And now it's time to start our braid again using three pieces. If you know how to corn roll, then this is going to be an easy technique for you. If you're still learning how to corn roll, still give it a try because practice makes perfect and you will eventually get it. But I like to start with just my hair in the very beginning, just to start that as an anchor, get it nice and smooth and natural and neat looking. Once I get to about this point, 
I can go in and add the hair. So as you see, again, we're going to add it to the middle. It's going to rest in the middle and then one piece is going to go to the left. I'm going to go in and add another piece. It's going to go to the middle because the piece only has two sides. So one piece goes to the middle, one piece goes to the left, and I'm going to braid it in just like that. And I'm going to slow it down right here so you can really see what I'm doing. So it goes into the middle. You see how I grab that other section? It goes to that side and then we braid it down. And just like I say, you want to make sure you're detangling it as you go along because you don't want to get to the end and have this big knot of hair that you have to detangle. And if you notice, I add my hair on the same side every time because it's easy for me. It helps with the repetition of the style and it also just helps to ensure that I am getting the uniform look that I desire. So as I mentioned, once you start to get to the ends of your hair, you really want to add that edge control to make sure that your hair has a nice seamless blend with the braiding hair. And this style is so easy to do once you get it, once you understand exactly what you're doing. This style usually lasts me about two weeks. It's definitely a go-to when I just need something to protect my hair, but I don't wanna spend a lot of time doing it. I could finish this look in about an hour, if that. And so now we're going to go in and do our final cleanup, adding a little bit more edge control, smoothing it down with the teeth of the comb and using that tail to tuck any loose hairs, flyaways. I'm going to add a little bit of baby hair, nothing super fancy, but just a little something, something. Then to lock in my style, I like to go in with a lot of body mousse, add that over the braids. After that, I'm gonna add my scarf in a triangle shape. I'm gonna turn around so you can see what I do in the back. And that is just slide it down and make a knot so that that scarf can also lay against the braids. Now it's time to dip those ends. And if you're not new around here, you're familiar with my microwavable cup. I put it in the microwave for about five minutes. The water starts to boil. I just dip my braids up and down for about 60 seconds and then towel dry them. And that's what they look like off camera. I've razored any excess hair. So after about 20 minutes, I can go in and take my scarf off. And this is the final look. It's quick to do, it's easy, it's affordable, and it allows you a carefree week of not having to worry about your hair. So as always, if you found this video helpful, be sure to thumbs it up. If you have any comments, questions, or concerns, meet me down in the comment section below. I will put all products used down in the description box. And if you dig me, be sure to hit that subscribe button. And God willing, I'll see you in my next video. Bye.